Hey there, fans of classic entertainment. You know Ike Eisenman from the original Escape to Witch Mountain movie series, right? Well, Ike recently related an experience going way back to his later teenage years where his path, in a very odd way, crossed with none other than Mark Hamill. And the result? Well, hang on for just a moment and you'll find out. Picture this. A long time ago, on a city street far, far away, Ike found himself smack in the middle of a situation that was both flattering and, quite frankly, somewhat confusing at the same time. As was quite often the case when Ike was younger, because of his many guest starring appearances on shows like Chips, Wonder Woman, and T.J. Hooker, he was approached by a family that was very excited to get his autograph. However, as he talked with them a bit more, he realized that they thought he was the guy who played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Yep, actor Mark Hamill. And as much as he tried to set things straight with them, telling them that he wasn't Mark, these folks were not convinced. And Ike was in a bit of a pickle. He didn't want to let the family down and he didn't want them to walk away thinking that Mark Hamill was a jerk. So he pulled a move worthy of any galaxy saving hero and he signed an autograph using Mark's name. As the family triumphantly departed with their prize signature, I have to believe that Ike felt a mixture of happiness and guilt. And I also believe that in his heart, he knew that he had done the right thing. Fast forward to present day, and Ike shared this crazy story on social media, talking about how he had become a Jedi for just a moment. Imagine Ike's surprise when Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, responded, thanking him for taking care of his fans. He said, what a wonderful story. No apologies necessary for making a family so very happy. I'm sure from watching you over the years that not only did you represent me well, but you would be great as Luke. At last, Ike had confirmation that his spur of the moment decision so many years ago was exactly the right thing to do. And we, the fans of both Ike and Mark, have confirmation that they are more than just TV and movie stars. They're both incredibly kind and thoughtful human beings. As long as we're talking about Ike, I've got to mention that he co-hosts an absolutely wonderful podcast and YouTube channel with author Jonathan Rosen called Pop Culture Retro, where they interview lots of stars from TV shows and movies from decades gone by. I love this podcast. Ike and Jonathan really have a way of making their guests feel comfortable and at ease. I should know, because they invited me on as a guest a few months back as well. What a treat that was. Anyway, great podcast and great guys. I'll post a link to their YouTube channel in the description section of this video. So I've got to ask, does anybody else remember Fantastic Journey? Ike starred in this short-lived science fiction TV series which ran on NBC, and I absolutely loved it. Trapped on a strange landmass, they come from different times, but they're all in danger now. Use whatever means necessary. An unearthly swamp and an android colony with a human leader await on the Fantastic Journey. Roddy McDowell joins the Fantastic Journey Thursday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time. You'll notice there, the legendary Roddy McDowell was in the series as well. That was way back in 1977, and a few years later, Ike would make a memorable appearance in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan as Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott's nephew, Engineering Cadet Peter Preston. Spoiler alert, things don't go all that well for him. Khan! By the early 2000s, Ike's career had transitioned to more behind-the-scenes work, but in 2009, he and original Escape to Witch Mountain actress Kim Richards did return to the big screen in cameo roles in Disney's remake, Race to Witch Mountain. Hey, thanks for watching, folks, and a special thank you to the fine individuals who have clicked on that little join button below the video screen there and elected to become supporting members of the channel. Each one of them are truly appreciated. Channel members have had access to this video for a couple of days now, and here are just a few of the comments that they've left behind. Zuperplex says, Never heard of Ike Eisenman, but this is a wonderful story. It's nice to see that it is possible to be famous and be a good guy at the same time. And John Collins said, Thanks, Dave, for presenting such a warm, interesting, and positive anecdote, which has a wonderful full circle moment at its end. Thanks again. And Thrash Pondo says, Wow, a Jedi and in Starfleet? And you know I remember Fantastic Journey. 
And Rob Pinto said, Thanks for the memories. I remember Ike well. Fantastic Journey was good too. And finally, James Harrington says, Ike seems like a great person. To which I replied, From listening to hours and hours of podcast conversations, I can confirm that he truly is. Double your pleasure with double mint gum. Double good, double fresh, double delicious. Oh, the single most favorite double in the world is double good, double good, double mint gum. There's no single gum like it. Double, 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 double,